What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday, which means it's 1951 day. Wave four launched today. Wave three PR came out today. 55 and change, I think, close to 5,600. I think that's great for wave three. Wave four, I think, is going to be. I think it's going to do really well because there are five rookies in it with the rookie card logo, and there were some signed. Um, who was it? Was it Alec Baum? Is that one of the signed ones? Joe Adele. Anyways, that set's going to be great. I also saw some people have already gotten their Wave 1 cards, and they started <clears throat> to rip them. Please, if you get them, rip them and share pics. Uh, all I've seen, I've only seen two people rip their boxes so far, and one person pulled like a 52 of 52. I forget which player it was, but it was one, it was one parallel I've seen. I've seen no artist cards, um, and I just want to see. They look, the cards look beautiful. So, if you get them, please take pictures. I have not even gotten a shipping notification yet, so that's annoying. Uh, so, we have been going through, and so, by the way, this is a pre-recorded video, but not by much. It's, it is Monday, or it is Wednesday night. Andy is working. Ooh. Okay. I might have to blur that out. I think YouTube will let me blur out that video. That's a... That is a top secret upcoming card. <clears throat> um, oh man, that made me lose my train of thought. Okay, but we've been working like crazy on black autos, TTM autos that we've been getting in. People are sending in full sets, which is fantastic. That's following the instructions like we asked. Um, and they're getting them in now that everyone has all the cards. Uh, we are gonna cut off TTM black autos. February 14th, Valentine's Day. They have to be here. Here, here. Um, and uh, yeah, after that, we still will do them. We're just going to charge like 20 bucks an auto or something because I pay staff to help do it. Oftentimes, we end up having to pay for postage. We replace cases. Um, we buy stickers, you know, all that stuff. So uh, we're just going to charge. We're going to charge a nominal fee. Uh, it'll be a little bit and it'll be like one card for 20 bucks or six cards for a hundred or something. That'll be like a deal if you're, if you're getting more. Um, and that's similar to probably what I'm going to do on the project, uh, the 1951 cards. Anyways, uh, we have been doing this mail. We've been getting it out the door as fast as possible, but I have all these notes that were not read on any mail Mondays. So we're going to, I'm going to read the notes today. And that's going to be the video. The other thing that we're doing that I'm doing now is I'm publishing edited video content and I'm aiming for every Monday through Friday. So there'll be five new videos a week. And with that, I will probably do, I don't know exactly how I'm going to set my stream live stream schedule. I'm trying to get on an earlier to bed earlier to wake schedule. <clears throat> and so the late night streams have been tough for that. But I will be putting out video edited content every day. So even if I don't stream one night, you'll have a new video to watch. The video I published today was Art Basel Miami 2019 part one. It's a four part series. They're all edited, they look awesome. Part two's coming out tomorrow. Part three the next day, part four Friday. And that's gonna be dope. <clears throat> um, I guess without further ado, let's like read some of the notes. And, uh, yeah, There's, here we go. All right. So these are not in any particular order. Uh, there are some where they included gifts that I will, if they reference them in here, I'll like try and show them as much as I can. Um, like Kevin, the bottle opener, that was awesome. And, uh, like I said, if I'm reading your note, that means that we've already signed your cards and they've either shipped out today or they're waiting in the front of the house to be taken to the post office tomorrow. Need help? Andy's. Uh -huh. hey, sorry. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> You're making your cameo. Okay. So this is from Brayden. Brayden's 14 years old. And uh, it says, hey, Blake, my name is Brayden, and I'm 14 years old. 
I love turning into your stream and watching the recording when I don't have school. I loved the, how the Black Otters looked from your first cards. I've enclosed some of your last cards to sign and send back. There's a paid shipping label in the top of the box. All you have to do is stick it on the package. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I feel like I remember this kid because he did such a good job last time. He also like um, uh, gave a checklist, uh, which is amazing. He also says, I can't wait to see what you do for Project 70. Thanks so much. Can't wait to have these in my PC. Stay awesome. So that's great. Braden, appreciate it. Way to follow instructions like a boss. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> this is from James Crouch. Tony, care, uh, Blake, care of Tony. In close, you'll find a complete set of 20 cards from Project 2020. Would you be willing to autograph them in black and return them? In the black one touches that I included, black one touches look sick, by the way. Um, it's also really nice when people send new cases if that's what they want. Uh, we try to replace cases when we can, but um, we go through a lot of cards. Uh, you can keep the leftover clear one touch cases if you have any use for them. Nice. Um, I would be thrilled if you want to show my cards on Mail Monday on your YouTube channel. Any tips on a good way to display them in my home? I've seen FDOT's custom wood display and a few guys that make custom Project 2020 frames on Facebook, but I'm trying to keep it somewhat compact if possible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love FDOT's frame. I think they did a fantastic job. And I was just talking to Matt today about potentially getting an intro to FDOT's frame guy from FDOT. Uh, let's see, so he's got his shipping label He's also purchased several artist autos and choose your own color. Really appreciate that. James, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't have the cards here on this kind of Mail Monday-ish video, uh, but that's because they've already shipped out. So yay, they're coming back to you soon uh, and I appreciate all the support. Um, oh, this Stan the Man, this was cool. Okay, so uh, Mr. Blake, thank you for all you do. Uh, this will be two full sets. Thank you, thank you, Project 70. What? Congratulations, Stan the man. And I like that he drew a little crown and everything on here. Uh, Stan also sent, uh, if I remember, in his box some, some cool, some nice stuff. Uh, okay, here we have here. So this is cool. And also printed out a, uh, an exchange from Blowout just with the instructions. Um, this is very awesome of you. Greatly appreciate it. If you have a favorite charity, I'll gladly uh, uh, donate in your name. That's cool. So this is uh, Rich, Mr. Snyder. Thank you, Rich. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, I believe that's Chris, Chris Carino. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. Uh, Blake, I really appreciate your artwork on the Project 2020s. I've collected Mike Trout cards from the uh, part three for the past three years in the hobby. Sadly, I had to sell my Trout rookie PSA 10. Oh, no. Oh, for my new wife's engagement ring. Well, that's a pretty nice upgrade. Congratulations. After making a trade deal um, with your friend Mac and Stella, we talked a little bit about you. Um... <laughs> Please don't be upset for him, him giving me your address. That's fine. <laughs> It'd be an honor to have you autograph on card 100 enclosed. I've also added uh, return shipping. Chris, cool, thanks. And that's okay. A lot of people have my address. <laughs> All right, this is from Kevin. Big Kev. Blake and team, congrats on the end of P2020. It's been an absolute wild ride, and I will appreciate forever everything you've done to make a rough year a little bit easier for all of us. Enclosed are some Project 2020 cards I'd love signed to finish my set. Uh, I enclosed a couple items for your PC and an awesome bottle opener for from a local company. Thank you so much for everything. And he, he is right, this is a cool bottle opener. I'll show you guys. So this is, whoop. Oh. Okay, let's get it, let's get it on here. So this is cool, so it's like a ball there, but it's, bottle opener there I mean there's nothing better to just sit on the desk like it's perfect thank you Kevin all right oh 
here. Okay, this is um, Matthew Kruger. Hello, Blake. I really appreciate all of your time and effort you've put forth for the card community. I've enclosed three cards for Black Autos and one Don C card to trade since Tops messed up my order. I uh, can't thank you enough for that. Uh, they sent him a Don C card, Don C George Brett, instead of my whichever card launched with that. Ken Griffey Jr., maybe? Uh, keep up the amazing work. Other cards included are for you and the team. P.S. I received the B206 for Christmas and love it. Thank you, Matt. Matt Kruger. Uh, and then he's got the list here, the checklist. And there's also like this little pin here. That's kind of cool. Whoops. Sweet little minor league baseball pin. All right. Thank you, Matthew. Cards are on the way. Okay, let's go. I told you guys we had a lot of these. All right. Mm. Uh, so this is nice. This is someone, uh, Rob Rome, Rob Rome, or Rob Rome, uh, who he had sent in cards to be autographed. Uh, we thought that they got lost. So I sent him, I autographed an extra one of my own and sent that to him. And then the original one showed up. So he was returning uh, one of the cards, which was uh, very friendly, uh, very kind of him to do. Uh, okay. Uh, the note. Oh, Tim Sternberg. Yes. Dear Blake and team, uh, first a belated happy birthday to Blake. I want to thank each and every one of you for making 2020 a little bit brighter for all of us. As you know, I'm a very open regarding my struggles with depression and anxiety, and thus this project helped give me clarity at times, although um, uh, although I wish that it was all the time. True that. Um, uh, each of you sharing your own experiences has helped me through mine. I look forward to what 2021 has in store for all of us. I already, already bought my first five packs of Blake's new 1951 top set. Encloses my complete set of 20 Blake 2020 cards for Black Autos. I'm also enclosing a medium priority rate flat box prepaid and a return label. Also as a small token and appreciation, he gave us a gift certificate for Pizza Hut, which is awesome. I love Pizza Hut. Uh, gift card get some pizza on me i know it doesn't beat new york pizza but it's something thank you for all from the bottom of my heart Tim sternberg and we by the way we figured we uh, i think that when i signed yours and those already have been shipped out i think that was the first actual complete set that we signed andy said andy thought that we had done it for someone else previously but he realized that that person had not they were missing one card and i don't know which card they were uh but allegedly, Tim got the first full complete set signed and shipped, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay, this is Evan Mitchell. Blake, can you please sign these two full sets in Black Auto? Uh, until Project 2020, I didn't have a real grasp on the art scene other than locally here in Minnesota. I started the project going after player sets of Trout, Jeter, Clemente, and Robinson. Like many others, Project 2020 brought me back into the hobby. Once I searched Project 2020 on YouTube, I started watching your channel. I knew I had to get your complete set. Now I have more artist sets than player sets. I can't wait to have my local frame shop done with your frame and F dot set. I think Blob Ruth will go both great between both of your sets. Uh, I included two my two favorite Minnesota artists for you, Adam Terman with the Minnesota stickers and Michael uh, Berwer, uh, which created a stadium series of his for you. And I will show you those. So these are, these are stickers. Oops. I can't tell if it's upside down or not. Oh no, it was right side up. So some cool stickers here. And then there also are these, uh, like these are like magnets, these stadium, which are really cool. So I'll show you guys the back suit because I, I kind of butchered how to say the name. There we go. You guys see that? Michael Berrower. B I R A W E R. Yeah, but they're very cool uh, stadium magnets. Uh, thank you, Evan. And he had uh, he has his checklist here. Also, I got a 
uh, amazing piece of art from Hope. So hopefully Hope sees this, but I think this is very cool. I, I know, yeah, I think, well, actually I wonder, I don't know. I know that Aubrey sent me something too, but I think that Aubrey would have written Aubrey on it. I think this is from Hope. Uh, I also did get something from Jackson and Aubrey and I need to find that one because they sent me drawings as well. Uh, we also have a letter from friends, Daryl White. Uh, my last note was more like a novel. I'll keep this one short and sweet. I'm so grateful for you being involved in the hobby. I used to love as a kid and have grown to love again as an adult. I'm proud to own your complete set. I'm, com I'm working on completing your 1951 set. Thanks for generosity and time. I look forward to seeing what's next. I also be a f uh, always be a fan of your art and you as a person. You're a true gem. Thanks for everything. Stay awesome, Daryl White. Sweetness. And then there were these, which I don't remember. These might have been in the big Kev one. There were a few people that sent cards, and I'm sorry that I don't have like didn't have it exactly with each of the notes, but these were also sent. And this one I'm gonna have to check out. This little Buster Posey. Buster Posey, that's a cool, that sepia one. McGuire, Glaber, nice. Oh, that's a cool Glaber rookie for Matt. Yeah, it's very cool. Anyways, as always, appreciate you guys. Sorry that mail days haven't been um, as consistent, but I did want to read all those notes that were uh, hear from all the stuff that we've been working on from you guys or for you guys uh so don't forget black autos due by february 14th so that means you really got to send them like right now uh if you want them signed for free in black auto after that it's going to be for project 2020 it's going to be 20 bucks uh per black auto and then i think we're going to do 30 dollars a beckett and see how that goes uh, don't forget to watch the pre-edited video content and, um, yeah, those are going to start coming out every single day. So that's exciting. And when I say every single day, I mean every weekday, just like the tops cards. And don't forget to wait, get wave four. And if you get wave one and you rip it, send me pictures of whatever you got. And if you find a artist card, uh, I will make a deal. I will trade you for it. I will try and find some good parallels of trout and some of the other good players but i'm going to try and trade my way to some of my own cards so if you find one let me know first um i think that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching as always um i'm not sure if friday i'm going to do an interview or if i'll do something else special for you guys but i'll see you then but tomorrow art basil part two comes out so no matter what that'll be awesome all right stay awesome